Hey, uh, Gen Z, you want to filter out the old people? Just ask, hey, what was Doug's dog's name? <laughs> then point and laugh and say old. <laughs> Always works for me. Why does old Paul look like a skinwalker? <laughs> I'm going to wake up one of these mornings in, in my bed here in Fallout, and old Paul's going to be standing right above me. Well, old Paul seems like you could use a little less meat on your bones. How about old Paul eat some of that yummy skin you got there? Old Paul's a little hungry, a little peckish, if you will. You don't mind giving some of your skin to old Paul now, do you? No, I don't mind, old Paul. Please don't. But uh, could, you, could you not? If, if you could just not kill me, that'd be awesome. <laughs> well, old Paul's mighty peckish these days and plenty hungry. If and you did a radiant quest for me, maybe I won't eat your skin. Aw, oh, damn it. He's got me again. Gotta do a radiant quest, otherwise old Paul's gonna get me. He's gonna put me in his skin machine and deglove me in one big... <laughs> old Paul going to turn into a Mandela catalog character. I'm gonna be honest, I laughed like I understood that reference just to try to like trick you into thinking I was a little bit more artistic. I didn't understand that reference. Um, <laughs> which in turn is funnier to me. Time for the skin machine. I don't know why. <laughs> Look who just won a ride on the skin machine. Yep, I ain't trust like that. They tried to get me. Oh, they tried. Oh, they got me. Ooh, they did. I gotta walk all the way. I gotta do all that all over again. Everything I've done over the last 20 minutes. I feel like I should just not leave my town. I feel like every time I leave the town, I immediately get fucking trucked. I should. I just shouldn't leave. I live here now. I'm not leaving. I just shouldn't leave. Who put the boy in the tire? Really fucking owning him there. Just throw him in the tire, see what happens. He, he was just trying to get into that tire because he wanted to roll down this hill in like the big tractor tire. That's my dream. I want to own an industrial thresher tire. I just down the hill. I just noticed your eating and drinking noises are Minecraft ones. Finally, somebody says it. <laughs> Played it for like four hours yesterday. And nobody said anything. <laughs> Remember that everybody's always grifting. Uh, anyway, chat, I have this wonderful new thing to sell, uh, to talk to you about. It's called uh, Meat Bar, Gamer Meat Bar. It's gamer beef jerky for the gamer on the go. Now, sometimes you're out here gaming, right? And you're, whoo, your stomach's a little bit, whoo, queasy, right? Well, with this brand new, fully subsidiaryized, fully subsidized, huge, big, beautiful, bouncing gamer meat bar, you too could eat on the go while you game. We even give you complimentary plastic latex gloves. So you can eat the Gamer Meat Bar while you game and not get your hands all dirty with the meat. It's just a big chunk of flesh. We've taken all the pink slime out of the pink slime meat factories and processed it all into a bouncing meat bar. It pulsates and oozes. You could put it in your mouth. You could even consume it. However, please don't swallow. I, am, I will say, please don't swallow the Gamer Meat Bar. Uh, make sure that you chew it and spit it out. I saw Shrek in theaters the first day. It was out. Um, I loved that movie as a kid. Me and my brother loved that movie. One year uh, for Halloween, uh, my brother dressed up as Shrek. Whoa! Boop. My brother dressed up as Shrek. I dressed up as uh, Pikachu. I wish I still had uh, pictures of me dressed up as, in that Pikachu costume. Horrifying. I think I was in third grade. I think third grade I was Pikachu. Fourth grade I was Harry Potter. Sorry. You know what I'm really sad about with like modern um, video games and modern kids movies? Is that... With the Puss in Boots movie, uh, and like movies in general, we don't get a lot of movie video games anymore. And it fucking sucks. Because there's this weird, like there's this weird hole. There's a weird hole in like video games that I feel isn't being filled now. And it's movie, it's, it's shovelware. Like I want more shovelware. Like, and I'm talking about like that good shovelware. You know, you get like the B-movie game and it's got a full GTA sequence in it. I want that good shovelware. I don't even want good movie games, all right? I want shovelware for fuck's sake. I want there to be an everywhere, everything all at once video game, but it's like Katamari. I hate that. I hate that bad movie tie-in games are dead. It's heartbreaking. I want that good shovelware for fuck's sake. That's all I want. I want to be fat and full of it. Let me consume. Is that one horror game with Choo Choo Charles shovelware? You know what? Am I a bastard for saying that it is? That Choo Choo Charles is basically just modern shovelware? 
the modern equivalent of shovelware is just itch.io games that definitely should not be sold for like twenty dollars Sorry, itch.io games that are literally just made for YouTubers and streamers to play. But it was made by one guy, so, like, props to him on that. Like, it was one guy, the game functions, it works, but it also is, like, YouTuber and streamer bait. Frank Davidson! Oh, fuck, he's strong. Oh, God, Frank Davidson is pimped out. Covered in green. Cryogenic metal chest piece! Well, thank you, Frank Davidson. Have you seen the Nintendo eShop? Yeah. Uh, if I had more money, I'd definitely dive more into eShop. Like, uh, just, I, I want to do shovelware streams, but, like, it's so much shovelware is so high-priced on the eShop, especially. We just buy a bunch of games that are only on the Nintendo Switch that barely fucking work. Like, BigZombie.com. Can you eat century eggs on stream? Can you eat eggs for a century on stream? <laughs> Full 100-year stream. I eat an egg every one minute. I'm not allowed to leave the camera. My shit bucket has to be cleaned. Somebody fucking puts me under the big streamer shower and washes me daily. I'm gonna need a catheter, yeah. And a cl cl clostomit? Clostomony? Clostomit? Cl I need a Callisto protocol bag. Yo, that's what we, sh we should call colostomy bags now. We should call them Callisto protocol bags because that game is shit. I'm... <laughs> I need, I, I need to, in, the, in my calligraphy bag, me knocking on the windows at any passing strangers. I'm shitting, I'm farting, I'm pooping. They're gonna start calling me Brian Daniel after I eat all these eggs. Brennan, what are you doing? I'm eating eggs. Uh, yeah, what about, what, what are your new content plans? Content plans, I'm content to eat eggs. That's all I do all day, I eat egg. Yeah, but do you have any new video ideas? Any new stream ideas? No, this stream runs forever now. All I do is eat eggs. Sorry, if that's not the kind of content you like. Hey, if you're not an egg lover, I gotta ask you to leave. If you're not a freak for eggs like I am, you gotta leave. We're gonna skip all this, because I already experienced it. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you're fine. It was an accident. You're fine. Oh no, I died. I broke him. Maybe if I just offer him a nice and... Uh, you know what? I think I should be able to carry around a little, like, package of fish flakes. I'd call them Jake Flakes instead. And anytime he got a little bit mad at me, just a little bit sour, I could just put him on the... Uh, just just uh, right on his tongue. I ordered chicken nuggets all by myself, and I only cried once. Jealous, aren't you? No. Bitch! <laughs> I should have, I should I should have bayoneted him. <laughs> Good thing I slept in the city. Holy fuck. Once again, carciniz car carcinization wins again. Once again, crab is victorious. It's like the house always wins. Somebody should mod Fallout New Vegas. Replace Mr. House with a crab. But only so that... The title of his quest line is The Crab Always Wins. Crab Sweep. Crustacean Nation is freaking out right now. Everybody who watches that fucking Deadliest Catch show is freaking out. I'm still mad. I don't think that... I don't think Deadliest Catch ever used that phrase. Like, if I was a producer on the Deadliest Catch, I would make sure to call all the fans of the Deadliest Catch Crustacean Nation. Like, it's right there, dude. It's like right there. If it's between Brendan and Crabs, Crabs win every time. Fall out of my bed and broke my dick. Fall out four out of my bed and broke my dick. <laughs> Brendan, if you had to make a language, what would it be like? I want it to be non... I want it to be like... What's the best way I could put this? I want it to be completely, completely illegible. And I mean like completely illegible. Like I want it to be like a, like wind chimes. So if I was going to do and have my own special language. I want it to be like wind chimes. Like you open your mouth and you hear the sound of wind chimes. Or like, I don't know if I just did this. Sauce, I already have my own language. I already speak the tongue of the devil. Your character looks like a 1970s cartoon villain. His name is the bastard. That's the point. Reverse, reverse. One hop this time. Two hop this time. Three hops this time. Four hops this time. Five hops this time, please, sir. Six hops this time, please, sir, stop. Seven hops this time, sir, please. Eight hops this time. <laughs> please stop, please, I'm begging you. Ten hops this time, slide to the left. Slide to the left. Sir, please, there's a huge death pit right directly to the left. Slide to the left. Crisscross. 
Crisscross! Three hours later and I'm still crisscrossing. When will this hell end? Did you hear Toonami accidentally posted pirated inflation art of Nami and its fan art roundup? <laughs> I immediately think back to that one uh, Looney Tunes tweet where they tweeted out characters from Looney Tunes and they used inflation art of Wiley e. Coyote in the tweet. Somebody stole it from behind a paywall and then submitted it using false info. That's insane. And also, how would nobody not... Like, how would nobody from like top to bottom, toe to tip, in like the Toonami every, like all of their community people, how would not a single one of them realize that it was fetish art? That's insane to me. Blessed are the folks who don't recognize fetish art at first glance. You're better off for it, champs. Yeah, I, blessed are those. Blessed are those who don't realize what the world is like. Blessed are those who wear their sunglasses and their sunglasses have 0% opacity. There's no way they didn't notice it. It was for the silly. Yeah, I could agree with that. I could also agree with that. Only if Tom said... I, I would only agree with that if, like, Toonami was doing their fan art roundup and, and Tom said, Looks like somebody thought Nami needed to be nice and big and round, huh? That's the only way, that's the only way Tom would never, he is pure. Mm, I don't know about that. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this, shall we? Wait, I gotta see if I get in trouble for this. <laughs> I'm not showing this. I'm not showing this on stream. <laughs> Oh, that's not, that's not getting shown on stream. No, I, <laughs> they had to do it. They knew they had to do it. They knew they definitely did that on purpose. Okay. All right. They knew there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. It has to be a bit. I agree. There's no fucking way. They didn't know. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god, Toonami. What the fuck? I don't think they are gonna take it down. I think somebody did that on purpose. I don't even know if somebody actually submitted that. What if somebody fucking just took that? Somebody just googled big and round Nami and <laughs> said this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> that one's from Tom's personal collection. Yeah, Toonami directly commissioned that. That's what I'm saying. I love the insanity of the internet sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta like marvel at people. Sometimes you really do just have to marvel studios at people. If I could be in any movie, I'd love to be in a western but not as like the cowboy main character or not as the villain not even the spunky like sidekick who says funny things uh i just want to be a guy in the background drinking swill and i want to be in every shot every shot every time they're in somewhere in a place in the western where there would be somebody drinking swill it's always me and as the movie progresses i get like closer and closer to the camera in the background until the end of the movie comes up and the protagonist and the antagonist are both dead and I it like the, zooms in on me and I wink at the camera and then I drink more swill and then the movie ends Who, you'd be the designated spittoon spitter I could spit in a spittoon I could do that I got the sound effects down I, I could I could with the best of them but can you chew tobacco you know it's fucked up that chewing tobacco has uh, fiberglass in it. It, 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 it the way that you get like the nicotine high off of chewing tobacco is it cuts the inside of your mouth to let the nicotine in. Yeah, it, it, chewing tobacco cuts up your gums to let the nicotine in. That's how it works. I love eating glass. Yeah. So anybody with a spittoon, they love eating glass. Fun little fact for you. That's why I just smoke good old Marlboro Reds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I want to be the Marlboro man. Let me be the Marlboro Man. He's a he's like a cowboy. Put the Marlboro Man in Fallout New Vegas. Have him smoking cigarettes like a fucking psychopath. He never stops smoking. New companion for Fallout New Vegas, the Marlboro Man. New conversion mod turns Boone into the Marlboro Man. You're welcome. Yeah, imagine you in Fallout New Vegas riding the camel's camel with the Marlboro Man at your side um, next to good old Smokey Smokerton, the smoking mascot for kids. Can you even believe that, like, candy cigarettes are, like, a thing or were a thing? When I was a kid, you used to just be able to buy candy cigarettes at the gas station. I don't think they sell them at, like, gas stations anymore. But, like, didn't you think you were the shit when you were a kid and you just put the little chalky candy in your mouth? You went... 
they're still a thing. Yeah, I, I don't think they like regularly sell them at like gas stations anymore. Even just a baby carrot. Uh, remember when you were kids and you were outside hanging out with your friends in the cold and you'd take a baby carrot and you pretended it was a cigarette? You were like... Good bit. Not going to lie. Good bit. I love baby carrots. Baby carrots and cinnamon rolls are dippable in chili. I hate bringing this up almost every stream, but I'm, I'm just going to say cinnamon rolls, you dip them in chili. They're really good. I, pr I fucking promise. But also baby carrots is a much more normal thing. Dip that shit in chili. Next time you get chili, don't like, you know, you don't have to do the psycho thing. You don't have to dip cinnamon rolls in there like me, but... Next time you eat chili, uh, get some baby carrots. I'm not disgusting. Shush. It's not disgusting. It's sweet and savory. It's good. You dip them in chili. You dip them in chili. You don't cover the roll in chili. You dip it. You dip it. You dip, dip, dip. What if somebody was like, what if there was, what if you went to an old man's home right in the middle of the bayou and he was out there on his little rocking chair on the porch wearing his like suspenders and, 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 and brimmed straw hat and he's, he puts down his corn cob pipe and he starts chewing on something and then he spits it out into the spittoon and he looks directly at you and he pulls up what he was chewing and it was coleslaw, not dip. What if you were hanging, what if you were, um, what if you were hanging out with your best friend and you both got like blindfolded and picked up by strangers in the back of a van and they took you all the way to this courthouse and there was a judge there and you said, please, I don't know what I did. Isn't this the court, uh, like a court of law? And the judge looks directly at you, points his finger at you and says, you're a fool, an idiot. This is a court of slaw. Get a little scared by the ambience here, Enon Zer. Please. Please, Enon Zer. Stop it. You're scaring me. In the U.S., we've got bubblegum cigars for when a baby is born. What? Brennan, what are your thoughts on the murder go uh, murder goblin raiders of Fallout 3 versus the more gang-centric raiders in New Vegas? I mean, New Vegas raiders are always more interesting because they have like a like a structure. And it felt like they were almost, if they, they had gotten another year to work on the game, they might have been a faction choice. Plus... Like, New Vegas Raiders have chainsaws, and that's way cooler, right? Like, that's way fucking cooler. I'm not gonna lie. Like, a chainsaw, a skin your ass raw, me when I'm at my house and I'm eating, give me something to break. Ooh, I like the New Vegas Raiders. It always felt like they were going to be more, um, more, not established per se, but more fleshed out than they were. Also, I like the like the the short little bounty quest you get because I don't know Fallout 4 has unique raiders, but like they don't matter. I killed somebody named Clutch. They didn't have anything special or anything cool on them. There was really no reason for me to kill them except for the fact that I could. And then like New Vegas Bounties was an awesome mod until the developer for them went like bungo bonko and made the last like two shit. <laughs> Remember how, like, in the New Vegas Bounty mod, if you complete the last one that was released, it permanently damages your hand? I'm never gonna forget about that. What a fucking silly bit. That's one thing I like about survival. You see a lot more of the random encounters by doing survival. How my house- how my town looking? How my town doing? Hey, how's the Red Rocket doing? What is the do <laughs> Hey, Cola. You just, uh... You just- uh, Somebody kicked Odie off the table. Finally! We get to go meet Piper. Aren't you excited? Piper. She's going to say things like, what are you doing, gumshoe? And hey there, Slick. Do you want to eat a big burger with me? I don't know. I don't know what's... I can't even remember. We got to go talk to Piper. We're going to go to Shell City. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up that Poseidon and Neptune are both accurate in SpongeBob lore. I fucking hate local news agencies. Yes. Yes! Don't you fucking hate it when a local news organization looks directly at you, points their fingers at you, and said, You're dirt! You're worthless! You stink! I hate that. Piper Big Boob Mod? No, I'm not downloading the Big Boob Mod for Piper. Stop. Piper Huge Luxurious Breasts? No. I'm gonna download a mod that, like, turns Piper into a floating orb. I'm gonna turn Piper into an iBot. Listen, if I download a Big Boob Mod, here's what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm going to be ruined. I'm going to be penniless and I'm going to be ruined. And you're all going to laugh at me. You're going to find me in a cardboard box outside the Walmart in the Walmart parking lot. And you're all going to point and laugh at me wearing your big fancy stilts and your huge stovetop hats. You're going to all point and laugh at me from your high place in the sky. You're going to say, ha, 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 ha. Oh, this fellow fell for the old big boob trick. You're all incredibly rude. Please, please don't take my livelihood from me. I'm not very good at it anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> please don't take my livelihood from me. I'm already not very good at it. Please don't add, add any more to that. No more stress, please. Cows! Oh, shit. Scorpions and cows! This is the power armor that they put on the box art. Yes. Look at me, a large lad in charge of his own large lad life. I'm this for big, strong men who love making the screen shake. I don't necessarily need power armor, but it's definitely going to help um, just my survivability. Number one, there are two great things about power armor. It's very defensive, and on top of it being very good for defense, it also uh, makes stim packs very easy to, to get and install uh, because uh, it increases your carry weight, but also makes it so that when you take stim packs, there's not an animation for it. Oh shit, is that more power armor? <laughs> And I thought they said power armor is for bussies. I like how power armor feels in 4. I just hate how plentiful it is. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I I kind of think that... Um, I feel like my biggest problem with it is, is I feel like you should still have to get power armor training somehow. And that's the, that's the problem with them, like, trying to make you feel, like, epic in Concord. Like, that's, that's my biggest problem with power armor, is they just straight up give you a suit in Concord and then try to make you feel, like, really powerful with it. I like power armor. It's just fucking everywhere, but not everyone is wearing it. Like, you just find suits laying out here in the wasteland, all plentiful and shit. Bountiful. Like, life is beautiful, and yet not everyone is wearing it. I also feel like, yeah, power armor wouldn't be as plentiful unless you were in, like, the next Fallout should take place in an active war zone like Anchorage did, or like a former active war zone. Then it would make more sense to me why there'd be more power armor. Concord cinematic moments really give the wrong vibes to the rest of the game. Oh, 100%. The biggest downside of power armor is it takes a resource, but... At a certain point, that resource becomes really easy to get, though. Yeah, but I'm the guy who hates using said resource. I totally understand that. As a, 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 a an example of, like, using expensive resources in um any game that I DM for, like, D&D, Pathfinder, what have you, I love to give one-use magical items um, because everybody always loves second-guessing when they're supposed to use them. Like, oh, do I use it now? Oh, do I use it now? I love give I love giving stingy players one use magical items. It's my favorite thing. Funny man, hello. Hello, hi. Sauce 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 sauce. I'm having too much fun with this soundboard, I swear to god. I'm gonna have to like duct tape it shut so I stop fucking with it doing the sauce 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 sauce. I gotta stop. I was supposed to eat food, aren't I? Noodle cup. Oh, that hydrates and feeds you. Okay, I'm buying more of those. Oh, that's what the robot is for! He sells you Noodle Cup! I love ramen! Don't touch me, you little bug freak. I'm gonna start eating raw proboscis just to piss you off. Brennan's gonna live off cuff, cup noodle like a college student? Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Uh, I remember when I was in college and I lived off cup noodles for like a week. No, like, eh, like three weeks. And I said, fuck this. I started getting sick. I don't know what it was. I think it was the, 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 the microplastics from the styrofoam. I was so full of microplastics. That shit was making a macroplastic in my tummy. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it anymore. I, 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 I remember when I stopped because I got my very first YouTube paycheck of like $80. And I said, this is awesome. And I walked down to the grocery store. Uh, and I bought a bunch of frozen hamburgers and then a drunk man threw rocks at me on my way back from the grocery store. He was just throwing like half bricks at me. He was just... <laughs> <laughs> but I got home with a bunch of frozen hamburgers. I bought $80 worth of frozen hamburgers. No, wait. No, I bought $50 worth of frozen hamburgers, a big bag of cereal, and a gallon of milk. Because I used to have like a... I had a meal plan... But I used my meal plan because I kept ordering nachos every day for the first, like, month and a half of college when I was living there. So I did have a meal plan, but I kept ordering nachos. Like, every day I went and I got, like, a plate of nachos. I, I lived like a king for a month, and then it was cup noodles for, like, four weeks. And then just, like, mini, ha mini frozen hamburgers and cereal for the rest of my time there. That guy fucking hated me for some reason. I had no idea. It's because I was walking past a trailer park, and he was just some drunk guy, and he just said, Hey! And he like cartoon wobbled closer to me and I like started walking faster. So he just started tossing rocks at me. That's why my wife doesn't let me walk out alone because I have like NPC encounters when I like walk around alone. And I like can't, I can't do that anymore. I can't handle that. The stress. Back in high school and like early college when I lived with my parents, um, I'd walk places. Dogs would chase me. Just random outside dogs would just chase me down. I have jumped on top of a car before to avoid a dog. It's, I, like, insane. I once had a group of teenagers follow me home uh, when I was in college. Like, try to follow me home. All just, like, I, I, I don't know what they, they were trying to even do. They were just being fucking weird. I guess I'm just a, like, I, to be fair, I do have a very, like, 
punchable face and personality, so I get it. I, I am incredibly likable and unlikable. I think I'm one of those, like, 50-50 kind of guys where you, you either like me or hate me. But also, I don't know, I might just be, like, you know, one of those guys. Critical fail or critical... Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I, I've called it... I have idiot savant in real life. Uh, sometimes things just go my way, even when they definitely should not be going my way. What are they shooting at? Because I'm a little bit more afraid of whatever they were afraid of. One time, uh, I dropped an entire glass of orange juice on a power strip and it avoided every electrical component in the power strip and didn't short out. And I mean like a full... 30 ounce glass of orange juice on this full power strip that was connected to my computer and my roommate's computer and it completely avoided every bit of electric component in the power strip i once dumped like a glass of soda in my computer and it avoided every single electrical component and just got on the sides stop fighting me i don't know you i once as a kid i grabbed uh, ele an electric fence with both my hands at the same time at a friend's, like, farm, and I was just lucky that it wasn't turned on. Otherwise, I would have gotten, like, buzzed and zapped. One time, I jumped off of a slide and convinced one of my friends to also jump off the slide, and I landed, like, perfectly, no problem, and he landed the exact same way that I landed and broke his arm. You got any dirty water over... Hey, fo hey fellas. Hey, fellas. You got any dirty water or purified water around here? Howdy, fellas. Just looking for a little, uh hydration please you got any nope dog doesn't have any water on it you got any water you got any water around here i'll take coffee coffee's also fine no no water no coffee all right that's cool that's cool big box of cigarettes cool cool me when it's hey guys big gulps huh <laughs> another great day in diamond city oh my god the mayor is jokerized oh my god mayor mcdonough is the joker <laughs> Uh, the top of society himself, Mayor Joker. The prom's tomorrow and the mayor is pregnant! You scare me, Piper. I'm afraid of you. Piper is way more like the Joker than the mayor is. We should put Piper in the Joker outfit. Welcome to Diamond City. Please enjoy your stay. Enjoy some of the wonderful accoutrements here in Diamond City. Like the crazy lady who thinks you're a synth. The guy who calls baseball bats swatters. And the other guy who also does thing. What if J.K. Simmons voiced Mayor McDonough? Then, like, he'd have a way bigger part in this game. That new Joker comic makes me want to bleach my eyes. That's all everybody's talking about these days. That wonderful, wonderful Joker comic. Beautiful, wonderful Joker comic where he gets empregged by Clayface. <laughs> Next, he's going to punch through the drywall. Thanks, the Ron. He fucking smashes his desk! You will trust the Ron! You will! Speak and talk to the Ron. He will give you what you crave. The Ron scammed me. How does this keep happening to me? Why do I keep falling for, like, trusty ne'er-do-wells like the Ron? All right, the Ron. You drive a hard bargain, but I'm out of here. It's me, the Ron. God fears the Ron, and you should as well. Oh, shit, is this free? It's not free. Who leaves a fucking cookie cola on the fucking picnic table bench? Who the fuck does that and says it's not free? Oh, welcome to Diamond City. Here's your complimentary Coca-Cola. Like, fuck you. I don't play any... Fucking, I gotta... Anytime licensed music starts playing, I just gotta... I gotta fucking... It, it, I need it to not play that, please. I hear the... Hey, everybody, got the news, got around about a guy named Butcher Pete. I ain't never heard about him. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Pete just flew into the town and he's chopping a ball of women's meat. I ain't never heard of him. Nope, don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the Fens Phantom. That's right. There's a booger boy in here. He's upset and angry. He made all these. Dear detective, fucking stinky, aren't you? Dear detective, you fucking smell. <laughs> he got me. He totally owned me. He totally bozoed me. Bolstering leather left leg. Awesome. Oh, shit. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please. Oh, thank God. A little afraid there. I was a little scared. Oh, cool! Space City! I love finding the fucking little, like, trading cards and stuff. It's just a good bit. Just, oh, sweet! Spatula City! Spatula City! Spatula City! Where you'll find all these spatulas at a very low price, Spatula City. Oh, God, I forgot how much fucking... I forgot how much of the fucking screen these guns take up sometimes. I don't have assless power armor, please. That's rude. Fucked up of you to say that my power armor is assless. 
You think I'd let my cheeks just slip out like that? There's got to be like a sexy power armor mod though, right? Not that I'm like asking, not like asking about like if I got like a sexy power armor mod or anything, but like there's got to be one, right? I'm not like asking for me or anything. Not for me, but like for a friend. I have a friend. Uh, b b b power armor with huge boobs. Luxurious meat bags. Incredibly large breast power armor mod. Nexus mod manager Fallout 4. Okay, Google. Huge bazongas. Giant breast mod for power armor. Huge big breast mod for power armor Fallout 4. Brendan, are you going to do the DLC also? Maybe. With, with games like Fallout 4 that I've played a billion times before, it, it, I'm just going to stream it until I get bored, basically. There are there are games that I like want to complete, quote-unquote, and then games that I just want to fuck around in until I get sick of them. And Fallout 4, especially with mods, is definitely one of those games where I just want to play it until I get sick of it. Oh god, it's Scavenger versus Robot. Uh, not my pig, not my farm. Sorry. I told you once, I'll tell you twice. Ain't my problem right now. I'm going to go to Vault 81. They got like a town in there and shit. What the fuck happened over here? Why is there big fire? Whose trash fire is this? Is this a... Oh, it's a tire fire! Yeah! Inhale the fumes, babe! Breathe it all in. This is Moonawana. Encase yourself in glass and smoke. <sighs> oh, shit, that hurts. That's just the high from the Moonawana. As an Iowan, I have a natural advantage against deer. Even if they're mutant deer, doesn't matter. I have a, Oh, shit. I have a super... I have an incredibly unnatural, incredibly good buff when it comes to fighting deer you know how many deer i've creamed i like with a car no i don't drive but like I, i'm never gonna say words ever again you know how many deer i've creamed wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute there's not wait, wait a minute wait a minute you, wanna, you know how many deer i've seen get creamed by a car is more accurate to what i was trying to say i didn't want to i didn't want to i wasn't trying to say that i creamed a bunch of deer what i was trying to say is you know how many deer i've seen get creamed by cars how many deer i've seen get creamed by a car not that i've like creamed deer Personally, I've never creamed a deer. Never heard anyone describe being killed as creamed. Well, like, they get creamed by a car. You're like, and then you get creamed, right? Fucking <laughs> really dug myself into a cream hole, didn't I? Fuck. Look at all those deer. Look, I'm going to cream them. Clearly creaming them. Look, I creamed all those deer. They totally got creamed. Listen, creamed deer is like creamed corn. Same thing. Brendan, Brendan, <laughs> Brendan Neal, thoughts on pregnancy. <laughs> Brendan Neal, thoughts on pregnancy. Uh, you, you, uh, I think you remember Ken Bone who had like during 2016, he had like his 15 minutes of fame and then people discovered his Reddit account and found out he was posting on like pregnancy porn Reddits and he posted beautiful human submarine while talking about pregnant women. I... <laughs> That's what I think. Beautiful human summary. I still can't, I, I can't even imagine having your Reddit account being that like easily findable and then posting on a Reddit about pregnancy porn and then also calling pregnant women beautiful human submarines. <laughs> it kills me every time. I laugh. Every time I think about it, I laugh. I have a huge belly laugh like, ho, 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 ho. Beautiful Human Submarine has the same kind of energy as pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. What would a Brendaniel RPG be like? Uh, you'd be sitting in a room, and anytime you leave the room, it's a random encounter, and then you go back to the room because you're afraid. If you leave the room, you die. <laughs> you stay in a room, and then if you leave the room, you die. Oh shit, they put a rocket launcher on. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they're 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 doing pretty fucking good. They're doing real good in their buggy, their defense buggy. We're making a lot of coffee here too. I mean, I haven't seen any coffee, but we're a coffee machine. Oh, cup of coffee, dirty water, and silt bean. Nice. If I wanted to make coffee, I could make coffee. Good to know. Wow, look at them. They're really working that concrete bathtub, and they're really working this um this this junk trunk organics collector. Teardown expert. Okay, cool. They're really working these junk trunks. Brendan, do you know how to use Blender? Yeah, uh, you take it out from under the kitchen cabinet. You put fruits and vegetables in there and you make a smoothie. Fucking sauce, 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 sauce. No, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Blender, the 3D animation program. I think I did the donut tutorial. Like there was a tutorial, I think a popular one to make a donut. I, I, I feel like six years ago i fucked around in it in the next fallout they should put the epic mealtime guys in here and they could be like ramen meat ramen meat ramen meat ramen meat rad stag meat rad stag meat ramen meat 
Brahmin meat. Squirrel bits. Squirrel bits. Squirrel bits. They could make a big, tasty meat pie. World's biggest fallout meat pie. How many fan cams do you think there are of Muscles glasses from Epic Mealtime? Do they even make videos anymore? I know that the Harvey guy does stuff because he was uh he was in the creator clash and he was in video game high school i think is the principal i'm pretty sure he still does stuff i don't know about the rest of them bacon strips bacon strips bacon strips salami capicola wagyu beef bacon strips make you into a meat pie because you are my cute deep pie what's that don't make you into a meal i say eat eat eel sorry i was trying to like do a little ditty there and i my ditty my ditty compressor broke i i'm so fucking sorry my itty bitty ditty compressor completely broken it's blown the fuck out right at the back i like to make you meal i want to make you lots of eel meal brendan thoughts on mpreg what remember when the joker hey remember when the joker got pregnant at <laughs> <laughs> Still got it up, baby! <laughs> oh, I gotta save that forever. <laughs> Brendan, why do you have that on hand? Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. You're thinking too hard. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. You're thinking too hard. Don't worry about it. Hey, 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 don't worry about it. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. Hey, hey, hey. Look directly at the screen. I want you to look directly at the screen. Please, 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 please. recalibrate the chat. Calibrating our chat. Recalibrating our chat. In three, two, one. Chat recalibrate. Have a nice day. Hey, um, just got uh got back from the Beef Boy Big Boy Burger. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the stream. You feeling revitalized? I hope you're feeling fat and full and revitalized. I don't want to have to do that again. I hope you're feeling well. Let's go to Vault 81, shall we, with our three fusion cores. Feeling good, feeling fine, feeling fancy, wine and dine. I'm doing fine, Brendan. How are you? I'm pretty good. I uh, We went grocery shopping, stopped at the uh, retro game store, picked up a couple of games. Um, got uh, Resistance 1, 2, and 3 on PS3. Picked up uh, Celebrity Deathmatch for the PS2. Picked up Mega Mind for the PS3. Picked up the PS3 Chaotix game. And there was one more. I can't remember. Oh, uh, I picked up Mercenaries 2 World in Flames for the Xbox 360 because the Xbox 360 port is so much better. It's so good compared to the fucking PS2 port. Sucker tried to play me, but you never paid me. You never. Oh, no, you didn't. Till I get my vengeance, I will never end this mayhem. Oh, no, you didn't. I'm a mercenary. You ain't got a prayer. You owe me. I don't know why I, I I didn't hit the note the first time, so I tried to like raise myself up to it. Oh no, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. Didn't you? Oh no, you never paid me what you owed me. So now they're coming for you. They added a fucking billboard through the mod. They added Rod's billboard. I never even realized that the Ron, the Ron, the Rod, the Ron had his own fucking billboard now in the game. Holy shit. How did I not even see that earlier? Oh my fucking God. I never know why those birds are shootable. I never get it. I mean, I'm glad they're, they're like fat and fetid and full of meat that you can't like grab, but you can't do anything with the bird corpses anyway. It's not like Fallout 76, which is a real video game that has real killable birds. Oh. I never went to that hole over here. I love exploration. I love exploring and I love finding things as well. Huge fan of it. Take me down to... This is where they make the Pawtucket Pat from Family Guy. This is where they make the Family Guy slurry. Yum. You come on out. Come on out. You come on out. I dare you. Why don't you come over here? I'm not a coward. You're a baby. You're baby. I'm not a coward. I'm not. You're, you're a coward. You are baby. Don't you dare say I am baby. You are baby. You are small. I'm huge. I'm like, I'm going to be like Dwayne someday. I'm going to be like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I'm going to be huge, massive. You're just a chicken. Cheap, 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 cheap. No, no, you're the chicken. You're the chicken. You go cheap, 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 cheap. Oh, that's a really cool nine millimeter, actually. I might switch over to that. Me running all the way back over to the Red Rocket just to use that. I know there's more guys around here, but I have to be fucking careful. I am baby. Your baby, your baby. I'm not baby, your baby. Brandon, would you drink Duff beer? Yeah, absolutely. Nah, I would never drink Duff beer. That shit's swell. I like Pawtucket Patriot. I'm a Pawtucket fan all day. A Pawtucket fan. 
All day, all day. Are you role-playing as somebody who can't read in real life? Yes. I lost the ability five years ago. Damn, I wish I could read, but I took the read out of my name. This was a... Wait, wait. Oh, nice. Cool magazine. I can build picket fences now. Fucking awesome, dude. People are going to be so happy. That shit's the American dream, you know. Owning yourself a three-bedroom home with a white picket fence and a lawn. Oh, by golly, ain't that just the American dream? Imagine being a homeowner, though. <laughs> Funniest shit I ever heard. Comedian walks up on stage, grabs the microphone. Y'all ready to hear my stand-up routine? Imagine you owning a home, and then everybody laughs. And then everybody starts crying at the same time. Me owning my own home in this century? Not fucking likely. Thank you to Coca-Cola, my feudal lord, Coca-Cola. Remember to always thank yourself and thank Coca-Cola. Companies be like modern day feudal lords. They'd be like, let us buy all of the homes. Then they will have to give us money for every home. Owning a home is the thing of the past. You don't want to own a home, you silly bimbo. You want to rent a home. It's a lot smarter, you know. Brendan, do you have any wife jokes? No. Left her at home. <laughs> Me when I walk up to the cashier. W Sir, would you like paper or plastic? I don't need a bag. Left her at home. <laughs> Sir, would you like a uh, bag today? No, no, no. You can uh, save a plastic tree. <laughs> Sorry, sir. This uh, this item isn't scanning. Uh, let me try to input the barcode directly. Whoa, I, whoa, I. <laughs> Brendan turning the cashier into ionized gas. Me, you know what? When I worked at GameStop, you know, it was the bane of my existence just because I like to keep busy. It, it was, it's a, hey, do you need help finding anything? No, 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 I'm, no just, I'm, uh, just, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just looking. looking. <laughs> okay, if you need any help, uh, I'll, I'll be right over here. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? Oh, nothing. Just shopping around. Brought my uh, wife with me because uh, she is the wallet. <laughs> What can I do for you today? Hi, welcome to Best Buy. What can I do for you today? Can you give me a million? Can you give me a million? Can you give me a million dollars? Please stop! Please, please stop! Please, please stop! What? What can I get for you today? A winning, 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 winning lottery, winning lottery ticket, a winning lottery ticket. Has anyone stolen from your store when I worked retail? Absolutely. Uh, one incident, I was closing GameStop alone one night, and this uh, kid comes in during the last 20 minutes, and he looks at me, and he's like, hey. I'm like, hey, dude, what's up? Where are your parents at? And he walked over to the plushies. <laughs> he walked over to, like, the Mario plushies, and he scooped them all up in his arms. He scooped up, like, eight Mario, like, and Nintendo plushies, and then he fucking bolted. The balls. He knew I couldn't do anything. He was just like, what do I do? I can't, like, call the cops. It's a kid. Wait, it was, like, an unattended child. I'm like, I, like, I'm fucking... I called my manager. I'm like, what do I do? He's like, you guys, we just take that as a loss, I guess. I just realized this woman is raising cats to eat them. I... I don't like that. This woman is raising cats to eat them. I don't like that. She's selling cat meat. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Why are you even eating cats? That's too little meat for the time it takes to raise them. See? Grow luxurious chickens. Grow the big chickens with the weird feathered feet. Like, grow those huge dinosaur-looking cluckers. I have to work on power equipment a lot in the store for maintenance, and I fucking love when customers just cross the aisle blockers and start demanding for help when I'm 40 feet up in the air, tethered on a machine. Uh, my favorite thing, I guess it would call, I, I would probably call it my worst encounter at uh, Best Buy, was I just came out of the bathroom and I was washing my hands and a customer sidled up next to me in the sink near me and started asking me questions about TVs in the bathroom while I was on break. And I tried to escape. I tried to be like, hey, man, I'm on break. Uh, I can help you when I'm done or I can have another employee come and help you. Uh, like you can go over to the TV aisle. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, you're here. So I thought I'd just ask you. Anyway, uh, so and so so about like the Sonys. And I'm like, I'm like washing my hands for like a minute and a half straight, confused out of my fucking mind. I'm like, please, I'm just trying to wash my hands. Please leave me alone. I'm just trying to get back to my half a chicken nugget meal from McDonald. Engravings give you no tactical advantage. Yeah, but my gun look fancy. Today at work, a little boy half my hat ran up to me and said, where's the Nutella? Uh, what is it? When I worked at GameStop, I got so fucking owned one day. I've told this story before. Uh, 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 a kid came in and I think his mom was probably at Sally's or whatever. 
and he was bored and the store was empty. So he was just hanging out playing on the demo machines. And he came up to me and this is like 2015, maybe must've been like 12 years old. He came up to me and was like, Hey, it's like, Hey bud, what's up? Hey, I got something in the mail today. I was like, whoa, dude. Oh, awesome, man. Like, I was just trying to be like a nice, like, you know, GameStop play. I was like, awesome, dude. What'd you get in the mail? He's like, these. I said, oh, what? Sorry, what was that, buddy? And he said, these nuts. And he fucking sprinted out of the store full force. And I still haven't recovered from it. I still have yet to recover from it. I got so fucking destroyed. I got absolutely fucking blasted. I still, I have not recovered to this day. This kid fucking owned me. Fake, I swear to you. I swear to you. I cannot fucking believe to this day that I got that fucking destroyed. I once made somebody so upset. I'm, I once made a customer really, really upset. And it was because I said bad things about the Walking Dead survival instinct as well. I once had a customer scream at me. Like, right in my fucking face. Because I was like, ah, you can play that, but it's not very good. I mean, I've heard it's not very good. And he got so defensive. He was like spittling at me with rage. He was red in the face. One really sad thing about when I worked at GameStop is we, for a while, had 12 copies of the movie Barbershop on UMD completely unopened. And then when the mall store got rid of their PSP games and UMD movies, we got 12 more copies. So for a while, our GameStop was ro rocking 24 copies of Barbershop on UMD. And I was so fucking sad the day that we had to send all those copies in. GameStop as a company, and you'll if you hate GameStop, here's an even bigger reason to hate them. GameStop as a company sent most of their PSP stock, except for the really rare games, to a recycling facility. A huge stock of PSP games and uh, PSP movies, the UMD movies, which were PSP movies, were sent to a recycling facility from every GameStop across the country to be destroyed, except for the really rare ones. Just destroyed. I mean, like, fully recycled. We recycled... Our store recycled, like, 400 movies and games because, oh, well, we're not doing anything with them and they're not selling. So instead of, like, trying to sell them online or, or selling them to, like, collectors, it was a, oh, let's recycle and destroy all of them. I will say, not to like defend GameStop in any way, but uh, you know those game, ooh! You know those GameStop um, like dumpster diving videos? Most of those are fake. As a former GameStop employee, I can tell you what would actually be thrown away. And 90% of the shit those people find in the dumpsters would not be thrown away. There's no fucking way. GameStop loves money too much. Like games that are scratched up or ruined, you'd always send them into the factory to be like re, if, if they couldn't get like resurfaced, they would throw them away. Never trust those dumpster diving videos. They're always fucking fake. I think the only game that should ever have been destroyed or recycled was Connect Adventures. Connect Adventures and Connectimals are the only two games that I think were worth being destroyed. Is your pride in the dumpster? No, I haven't worked in retail in like two years, dude. My pride's uh pretty, pretty, well, still low, but like not in the dumpster. When's the dumpster driving, st dumpster diving stream? I, <laughs> when am I going to turn a dumpster into a car? Dumpster driving stream. I once had a really cool dumpster experience. I found a fuck ton of old, uh, like at my old apartment complex, my old, old one. I saw a bag, like two full plastic bags filled with old Wii cables, like filled to the brim with Wii cables, like component cables and power supplies. Traded them all in at my GameStop during a trade event. Made a bunch of in-store credit. Bought so many Skylanders. <laughs> Only cool thing I ever found in a dumpster. I was just lucky that I had a cool manager, though. Because, like, we would penny out. We would get rid of, like, strategy guides. And normally you're supposed to destroy them or send them off to factory to be destroyed. Because, like, if we're not making any money, they can't be used. But my manager was pretty fucking cool. Uh, so I just took them home. We all just got to pick and pick and keep what ones. We just took them home. So I have two huge boxes filled to the brim with strategy guides that I will never use, but I like having them. Hit by a rad scorpion feels the same as getting hit by a Peterbilt truck, I tell you. Sell them? I mean, I could sell those strategy guides, but they're like a lot of, there's no real good games in there. I mean, I guess I have the Metal Gear Solid 5 one. Some people would probably want that. There are a lot of like weird trashy strategy guides. 
I don't know. I don't know if they're worth anything. I don't think they really are. I mean, everything's worth something. Better send my Prima strategy guides in to be, uh, uh what is it? The fucking, I gotta get them graded. Better go get my strategy guides graded. Can you fucking believe? I can't fucking believe there's a VHS collectible market. I know it's like inflated nice and big and round. Like it's not a real market, but I can't fucking believe that auction houses are trying to make VHS, VHS tapes. Wow. Like, rated. Brendan, you've put the thought of obtaining a UMD copy of Barbershop into my head. We had so many fucking, tw like, 20 to 30 copies of UMD Barbershop. Literally insane. Brendan, want to find a cool new speculative market to exploit? Already working on it. You remember the little homies? You go to, like, a grocery store or a gas station, they'd have the little, uh, they'd have the little, like, uh, the, the little, like, quarter, quarter machines with the little homies in it. We're going to invent the little homie grading scale. Brendan, can you interrupt the stream to do a quick little homies tier list? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking do a little homies tier list. Stop. <laughs> You know why? Because they're all S tier. I'm not gonna fucking go and collect all the pictures. There's no way somebody's made a little homies tier list already. I'm not gonna go and collect pictures of all the little homies. I'm not gonna go to the little homies wiki. Hey, will you give me some of your blood? Sure. Okay. You're not gonna do anything weird with it, right? No, I promise I'm not gonna do anything weird with it. Look at me. Do I look like a guy who do something weird with all your blood? You know what? You're right. Yeah. You're not gonna do anything freaky or weird with all my blood, right? Hey, you got any weed, man? No. Oh, fuck, don't tell my mom. I should have given him... I should have, like, kept that Ultra Jet that I had and given him that. Fucking sent him into the second world. Hey! No, I don't have any Jet, but I do have Ultra Jet. Huge Ultra Jet. That man is stuck in the wall. Ah, uh, look at that Bethesda quality right then and there. Brendan, join him in the Fallout 4 back rooms. No! I don't want to join him in the Fallout 4 back rooms. And with the amount of drugs that I do... Oh, no! No, no! Chico! Fuck me, suck me, ice road truck me. Man's is still melaning in his underwear. Don't mind me, sir. I love my melon. Looks like the melon harvest is going good. I don't. E I didn't even mean to do this. I didn't even mean to make melons like the de facto fucking thingus. I just know that they are melaning out here in the guest at the Red Rocket settlement. They are melaning. They're melaning hard. Melon fan forty nine here once again at the old watermelon factory. Who eat? There are, sure are a lot of people eating seeds around here. Kind of weird, if you ask me. Oh, fuck. He's building the weird... Oh, my fucking God. That's sick. This protects our town. I love it. Oh, my God. He got a new shirt and everything. This is like the Dunwich Borers shit. I get back and they built a giant golden statue of me, like from the John Freeman uh, Gmod uh, video. And it's just... He saved the Hummins. He finally did it. He saved the Hummins. Me getting back to my fucking beautiful settlement. Me looking directly at them in their eyes and saying, all your base are belong to us. Make your time. Is a man not entitled to the sus of his burb? Is a man not swas in burb? No, says the power of us. I don't know why Andrew Ryan, but he's having a stroke while he's delivering his speech is the funniest fucking thing in my mind. No, says the man. And no, is a man not entitled to the swas of his burb? A man just... A sluss, a bus. Yes, Andrew Ryan. Thank you, Andrew Ryan. Thank you, Andrew Ryan. Yes, I understand, Andrew Ryan. I get it. So true, bestie. So true. That's going to be the only sad part of the Bioshock yearly playthrough, is I won't be able to play Bioshock again for a whole year. Now that the Bioshock yearly playthrough is done, I won't be able to play Bioshock for a whole year. How fucking heartbreaking. If I was a shit enjoyer, I, I would say, how fartbreaking. Is a man not entitled to the piss of his dick? <laughs> oh, there's that, uh, I always get, whenever I'm on, um... So whenever I'm in, uh, I want to say, like, in Amazon and I'm looking at energy drinks just because I get bored, uh, they're always trying to sell me pussy energy. It's like a real energy drink called, like, pussy energy drink. I swear to God, buy pussy energy and drink it on stream. I'm not buying pussy energy and drinking it on stream. I don't want to. You can't fucking make me. You cannot fucking talk me into buying pussy energy. I've been drinking it on stream. I don't want to. Please. Mix pussy and balls and drink them together. <laughs> Mix pussy energy, balls energy drinks, and bang. You've got yourself a pussy ball bang. Make it a fucking... It's like a toxic cocktail. Hey, what are you drinking over there? Oh, just an energy drink cocktail. Oh, what's it a comprise of? Oh, you know, it's pussy, 
balls and bang. Dude, bang energy drink. I can drink one after I'm awake for a while, but if I drink it right when I wake up, I'm never, I'm, I've never been more cranky. I'm always super cranky if I drink a bang energy drink when I wake up because I, I figured this out from drinking my expired palate of bang. I drank one today. Oh, sorry, I didn't throw it away. I'm still drinking it. So I'm fine as long as I don't like drink it right when I wake up. A potion of dye. Do you remember when Think Geek, Think Geek didn't suck? And you could buy like mana potion energy drinks from there and like caffeinated soap. Remember when Think Geek was selling caffeinated soap? Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, the super creatine and bang is totally a lie. Funniest fucking shit. I can't fucking, oh I can't, what? Hello poppin'. I can't fucking believe that they lied about their super creatine. God. I can't believe in anybody these days. Not even bang energy drink. I've never had C4 energy drink. That's definitely... Are you real? It doesn't seem like you stuck to the roads. It seems like you're like hiding in the trees waiting for me. That's fucking scary. I was a little afraid they're real. They were scared. They're a little scary in there. Just hanging out in the middle of the woods right behind a tree. Just chilling, illing, a little bit of killing and grilling. I don't like it. Brendan, do you know how to get to the lake? Yeah, I know how to get to the lake. First... You're gonna want to start your car. A lot of people get all the way to the lake without having realized that they didn't start their car. I'm just joshing you. That's just lake humor. Brendan, do you recognize the bodies in the water? Yeah. <laughs> floating, floating in the water. There are four McDonald's Grimace. They are all McDonald's Grimace. They're all dead. But they weren't before. Brennan, do you like car seat headrest? I mean, I prefer to have car seat headrests on cars. Um, I mean, I've sat in cars without headrests before. Kind of uncomfortable. I like the structure of them, so. Maybe. I don't really have a huge opinion on car seat headrests. Oh, wait, is car seat headrest a band? <laughs> I thought that was just a real psycho question. I, no, I don't know them. If you could be in any vault, what would it be? I choose fucked up plant vault. Seems like a good way to die. Pink slime vault. I want to be in the pink slime vault. That's where they make the chicken nuggets at. What if you were just the normal guy in the Gary vault and all the Garys left you alone? All the Garys left you alone and you wore like, uh, like brown slacks and a white t-shirt. You read the newspaper. The, the, the lone wanderer walks in after slaying a hundred Garys. What are you doing here? Who are you? Oh, my name's Stanley. I just live here. I'm pretty cool. You want a bite of this pizza I'm baking? It's DiGiorno. Why do the Garys leave you alone? I don't know. I'm intimidating, I guess. I emit a radiant aura. They're pretty chill if you leave them alone. Wait a minute. Did you kill all the Garys? Yeah. Every Gary is dead. <sighs> then you're gonna have to deal with Stanley. And you get up and you hear like boss battle music like Keep one of the Garys as a pet. Yeah, I... <laughs> The vault where everyone is pumped full of psychedelics. What about the vault where everybody is pumped up kicks? Better run, better run. Outrun my Gungaga. Remember the puppet comic guy? Yeah. The one guy who is left in a vault uh, only with puppets. Literally, hey, this guy's left alone in the vault only with puppets. So sad. What a sad life to live. But at least we have Gary. Man, Fallout 3 vaults, good. New Vegas vaults, pretty good. Fallout 4 vaults fucking nothing. One of them is wasted. Uh, one of them is literally just so you can get Nick Valentine. There's this one that exists literally just for fucking, uh, what is it? The Curie? This one exists for Curie. And then Vault 111, which exists for your character. I don't, I don't think I like a single Vault in 4. They should have done something weird. Attach one of the vaults to like the Dunwich Borers. Brendan here, cringe and sus and a beta XD. Go back to 2016, Tech Stomper. Hey, 2016 called. They want their jokes back. I fucking... <laughs> sauce, 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 sauce. Got him. Fuck it, owned. How are you, Brendan? I'm fine. You know, I uh, I had a good burger today. Recently, we went to a burger place we haven't been to in a while uh, because they had like a health scare, but then come to find out that the health scare they had a couple of years ago was most likely uh, faked by the person who caused it. So we went there for the first time in a while and it was very good. I, I had a very good burger and I was very happy. You know what? I was very, very fat and full with burger. Fuck. What's with all the Garfield love? Oh, I don't know. Listen, I couldn't even tell you. It's not like I, like, grew up with it. I, I, I'm pretty neutral on Garfield, personally. I think it was just really, uh, funny. I, I, like, five, six years ago, I was collecting... This is before the big Garfield boom of, like, 2017, 2018. Uh, I was 
collecting weird Garfield pictures in a folder on a, like a Discord server I was in and just sending them to people. It was like weird Garfield feet pics, uh, RIP BB King, Garfield Mass Effect stuff. I think a big part of it is like lasagna cat's absurdism and the idea of like Garfield as a, as a, a whole, like normal Garfield is so unfunny that it wraps it up back around itself and becomes funny again. Cause like if you're asking me like seriously, I just, I, I think Heathcliff comics are way funnier anyway. Uh, like Heathcliff has a picture of like a stall and on the stall it says ham and big black font. And then Heathcliff is like sitting behind the stall like, I love ham and meat. And I think that's way funnier than Garfield is. But Garfield really like, I don't know. The the Garfield humor pipeline is just a lot about, uh, it's, it's not funny. That's the point. Garfield is funny because it isn't funny. That's the best way I could put it. Yeah, it's a lot of like Garfield itself isn't funny. It's the absurdism that surrounds Garfield. It's not that Garfield is funny or a lovable character. It's literally the absurdism that surrounds him. Like tidbits like Bill Murray accidentally signing up to be the voice of Garfield uh, because he thought it was a d different director. Garfield is just surrounded with like weird, depressing, awkward humor even though the Garfield comics and Jim Davis himself are not that funny. So it's less about Garfield and more about the things that surround Garfield. Garfield versus Bart Simpson. We need to bring it back. Bring back the war. Who will win, Garfield or Bart? Garfield versus coughing baby. <laughs> what is that, like an epic rat? Garfield versus coughing baby, begin. <laughs> I love lasagna. Don't get me started. I'm wondering <laughs> which one of us farted. <laughs> Fuck off. Mr. Beast versus coughing baby. Begin. <laughs> Vladimir Lenin versus coughing baby. If they do like epic rap battle tournaments, coughing baby takes it every time. <laughs> Mr. Beast wearing power armor, standing in the middle of the field. If you kill me, you get $10,000. But if I kill you, you're dead. <laughs> Hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby. <laughs> is that a fucking, is that a fucking real meme? Is that like a real video? I'm <laughs> crying. I'm going to start shitting my pants just like the coughing baby. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my Mr. Beast room. I've hidden those scarab beetles from the mummy movie in your skin. Last one to die gets 10 grand. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Among Us, but real. In this room are 10 people, but one of them is actually 1 million spiders inside of a human body. If you figure out which one of you is full of spiders, your team wins a million dollars. It's not me. I'm not full of spiders. It's not me. It couldn't be me. It's not me. I think it's Spiders John. I think I think it's Spiders John. I think it's him. Brendan, you need to decide who won. Who won? Who's next? You decide. <laughs> think of all the potential matchups if there was an epic rap battles of history uh, fighting game. Dude, hydrogen, bro hydrogen bomb is so broken. We need... <laughs> Hey, devs, can you please nerf Hydrogen Bomb? I keep trying to use the coughing baby strat and it's not working. <laughs> hey, devs, can you please buff coughing baby? I don't like the, I don't like the frame dad on coughing baby. Can you please buff coughing baby? <laughs> yeah, coughing baby's moves uh, in the Epic Rap Battles fighting game. Uh, too many frames. Could you please update? I mean, the hitbox is pretty broken. It's pretty small, but I mean... You really gotta buff the damage or make coughing baby bigger, please. Still, I just add a horse to the game, please. That's all I really want. Fallout 4 needs a horse. Just a horse system, like a Gideon Buttercup or a horse. Then, think about this, Bethesda. You add a horse to Fallout 4, you can also add horse armor to Fallout 4, huh? Fucking think about that, huh? Genius, right? Somebody says, hey, just installed Fallout 4 horses. It's like, oh, awesome, there's horses in Fallout 4 now? Like, no, no, no. He's a guy in New Vegas. Have you played Honest Hearts? It's a mod that adds a guy named Four Horses. So he's Fallout Four Horses. Oh. I get one piece of fan art. That's me and Chef from South Park and I'm pregnant. I get one piece of Preg Daniel fan art. And you're going to blow up the whole fucking... You're going to you're gonna blow it out of... Pro I get one piece of Preg Daniel fan art. And it's always going to haunt me. 
I'll never not be haunted by it. I'm always going to be haunted by this. It's never going to escape me. Okay, let me drink water out the tap. Mom says I can drink from the hose. Mom says I'm a good boy. I can drink from the hose anytime I want. Look at him. He loves the bastard. He is Easy Pete. Oh my god, Jake is actually Easy Pete before he gets old and crunchy. That's why he says bastard. He's the Easy Pete prequel. I'm the bastard! He looks at me and he says, bastard. Hey everybody, thanks for coming to the stream. Today we're doing homies tier list. Uh, first we're gonna start, I don't know their names, so I'm sorry. Uh, first we're gonna start with this little guy. We're gonna put him in Homer Simpson. Uh, big huge guy, he's gonna go in homie-tastic for sure. He deserves it. Uh, cactus homie, not my homie, not feeling it. DJ homie, definitely going in home dogs. Uh, the bulldog homie, definitely got to go at top with the bulldog homie. All the dog homies go in homie-tastic. They're the best. Uh, country flag homie, put him in C. I think he deserves homeboy spot. A clown homie, definitely going in not my homie. Hate clowns, don't like them. A chained up homie, we love BDSM here on the Daniel channel, so we got to put him up in home dogs. Uh, let's see, let's take a little look-see here. What else do we have? We're working on it. Uh, Cat Williams homie, definitely going in home dogs. Cop homie, definitely not my homie. Another, a Doberman, a big boy. I don't know if that's a Doberman. I don't know types of dogs, so we'll put him in, uh, we'll put him at the top here. What other, we got a couple of big homies. Uh, I'm really feeling purple suit homie here. I feel like he should definitely be right behind DJ homie. Uh, look at a buff six pack homie. All the buff boys got to go up in a homie-tastic. All the other really good ones. And of course, we got to put like praying homie of the top one, right? Top tier homie. A uh, lackadaisical homie. We're going to put him at like homeboys, I think. A little too lackadaisical for me, honestly. Feeling Homer Simpson on this one for sure. Uh, kind of crouching, crouching homies. I'm going to put, I'm not really feeling them. Uh, postman homie, got to go up there with him. Uh, real strong, a lot of power behind that homie. We're getting all the like good homies, right? But like we got to go trash can pigeon is number one, right? That's like number one best homie in this homie tier list. We got to put trash can pigeon up there. Uh, let's see. Demon homie. I don't know. Like, like, I'm like thinking like demon homie, like kind of what's the, what the, the Baba Duck homie. We're going to put him a little bit up there on the homie tier list for sure. He deserves it. Uh, married homies. Definitely down there. Not as low as the cop, though. Uh, let's see. Can't see some of these homies. Gordo. You know what? We got Gordo the chef. We like him. We love him. He goes up in home dogs. Uh, some of the more generic homies we're going to put down in F tier, in the low tier, with the cops. I don't really have a lot to say about them. I'm kind of moving. Some of these I don't have a lot to say about, so they're just going to have to go where I feel like I... F this is kind of where I feel about a lot of the homies, unfortunately. Like, we have our secret rares up here. Right? We have our secret rares up here, like our good homies. But some of the more normal homies, I'm just, I'm kind of feeling like a neutral vibe on them. Neutral to bleh vibe. Kind of moving the, moving any of the, like, sub pop bionic definitely going up there in S tier. Because, like, I'm just, I'm feeling very neutral. Kramer homie, put him there. Some of these homies, you can't see their full image, which is unfortunate, but... Let's just start putting homies in F tier. Matrix homie, we'll put him up in the home dogs. He deserves it. But a lot of these guys are just going to go in F tier, unfortunately, because I don't have the frame of reference for them. You know, I never I never got them out of the gas station uh, quarter machine, so a lot of them are just going to end up in F, unfortunately. I don't have everything. I don't have something to say about every homie, unfortunately. Karate homie, though, definitely going to the top of home dogs tier. But yeah, F, F, F. Putting that one at Homer Simpson. Top of F, 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 F. I, uh, you know what, Ice Cream Man, though? Going right up there in Home Dogs, for sure. F, Big Boy Homie going to Homeboys. Wheelchair Homie going up there right into S tier where he belongs. Bible Homie. Kind of feeling at the end of Homeboys for Bible Homie. Unfortunately, a lot of the homies are very almost generic looking. So I don't have a lot to pull from how I feel about them. Put that boy up there. Put him in S tier. I like how he looks. I like his fit. Uh, skateboarding homie. I like skateboarding. I don't do it myself, but we'll put that up in home dogs. And then the rest of the homies can be separated into not my homie. Uh, anyway, here's my homies tier list. The only ones that really matter are the homie tastic, the home dogs, the homeboys and Homer Simpson. So here's my homies tier list. Uh, I think this is pretty good. How do you feel? How do we feel about do, are we? I think, I think we're doing pretty good. I think this is pretty. I think this is pretty good. Like trash pigeon, 
homie pigeon definitely top tier like the best homie but we have a lot of homies that are just kind of generic down here and you know what actually i'm gonna move cactus homie up a little bit he deserves it this is the indisputable homie tier list if you're based and homie pilled like me you'll know that these mwah, best homies there we go this this whole town is a fucking mess what kind of recre oh fuck oh cola oh fucking bless your heart cola what kind of weird shit are they gonna build here so yeah, starting my own webcomic called Homie Stuck. I, <laughs> it'll be better than Homestuck and everybody's going to love it. We're going to call the trolls just, we're just going to call them Juggalos. Not even going to hide it. Just going to call the trolls Juggalos. Homies versus Juggalos. The real war begins. How did you know Juggalos were already in Homestuck? I, I just knew. I know things. Sometimes I think y'all forget that I just know things that I shouldn't know, but I know. Bring back Facebook memes. We need minion memes to come back. You're right. Bring back minion memes. We need more. By golly, I will have minion memes on my desk by Friday, or I will freak out. There's only one thing I care about on, on this earth. Complete more minion memes. I need more. A bar. I didn't want a bar. A bar. Fuck having a bar. Jake, this sucks. I mean, raiders attack us. I have this fully portable automated nightmare truck that somebody likes to sit in. I think if raiders try to attack us, I think the nightmare truck is going to take care of most of them. But I guess having this side of the uh, the settlement defended is uh, pretty good too, I guess. Can't wait to see what kind of freak structure they build. Yeah, we got the nightmare buggy over there. It was even worse. They took the fucking, like, the, the, the cow skull off of it. There used to be a cow skull on top of that. They, they made it more normal. Is that the Minecraft drinking sound? No. Who told you? <laughs> you know what the best part of all of this is? Not a single one of you realize that every time I pick up loose ammo, this whole last couple of modded stream, every modded stream, every time I've picked up ammo, I replace the ammo sound with the Fortnite ammo pickup sound. Not a single one of you has realized that yet, and it brings me joy. I mean, I've told you now, so now you know, but you didn't know, and it was pretty funny. It's still funny, but now it's even funnier that I've told you this. Need a mod that adds a thousand new hats. I'm not going to lie. I think that's kind of what I want. I want a mod that adds like 10,000 hats. Really, all I want is Elder Max. I, I just want it. Like, the only reason I would kill the Brotherhood of Steel is I really want Elder Maxon's coat. I mean, that's the reason you kill the Brotherhood of Steel, right? You really want his coat. You don't do it for any other reason. He's got a really cool coat. I don't want, yeah, I don't want to do the Kellogg brain dive. And I also don't care. And also, my Wastelander didn't come from Vault 111. So, I used alternate start. Kellogg can fuck off. I don't know anything about that kid. I don't know shit about Sean. Somebody's like, hey, what about your son, Sean? Like, I don't know that guy. Who? Sean who? Imagine waking up in a nuclear hellscape and seeing your leader dragging a massive bag of copper wire home instead of food. <laughs> hey, guys, just brought back your favorite. Oh, boy, is it rad stag? Oh, is it mole rat meat? No, none of that, you silly bitch. <laughs> it's a big bag of copper wire. Pray to Santa Claus every night, and on Christmas Day, he'll bring you exactly what you want. If you've been good, you get a big bag of copper wire. If you've been bad, though, you get coal and scrap iron. Please, sir. Uh, I want, I want one, of the, one of those orphan movies. You, you know what? Somebody should remake Oliver or, like, one of those movies where, like, an... Ooh, I'm the bad guy villain that runs an orphanage that makes them do all me dirty work for me. Like a gang leader who, like, raises kids to be thieves, right? Like orphan kids who are thieving in the streets. But it should be modern day. And they should, instead of stealing and picking pockets, they should be breaking into people's homes with claw hammers, ripping the copper wire out of the fucking walls. All I'm saying, it'd be a lot more relatable. I don't know too much about... Things like pickpocketing or stealing from homes. But what I do know is you get a good enough hammer and enough wire, you can make yourself an empire. That's going to be the next HGTV ho like home show is uh, is a, like rip, rip, rip it out of the walls. We gave people five days to gather as much copper wire as they could in, a, in an abandoned ghost town full of radiation. If they get back before they start growing tumors... Whoever wins the most copper wire wins a million dollars and a free house. Oh, yeah, wire empire. Yeah, I got a lot of people doing the dirty work for me. We take these homes, we scrap all the copper wire out of there, and uh, we bulldoze them. We build the shitty apartment complexes on top. That's what I'm bird talking about. 
Brendan, were you ever the manager of a store? I forget. No. I I could have applied for a number of, of management positions uh, at GameStop and Best Buy, and I chose not to uh, because fuck that master unlock terminal. Okay, I'm fucking out of here then. I chose not to because fuck the, fuck the responsibility of being a manager if you're not getting paid more or if you're only getting paid like a dollar more an hour or even like 30 cents an hour. Hey, do you want 500% more responsibility for like 30 cents an hour? More? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Awesome. The worst part is, is I got paid to do like my job and I did management stuff at both my jobs. I, I trained employees. I, I, I helped like figure out schedules. I did a bunch of shit at both of my jobs that would basically be like, Hey, this is a manager's thing. Uh, and I hated it. And that's a big reason why I left retail is I fucking hated it. Every second, every fucking second of it. I hate dealing with people. I'd rather make less money and just be an online funny guy. And if I fail at that, then, well, I mean, hey, there's always retail I can go back to. I can always go back. Go be a Walmart guy. I don't know. I can go be the Walmart customer service assistant manager. That's that's what I, that's the job for me, babe. I mean, any, 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 like, service level job is going to suck, regardless of what it is. So... That's just what I go back into, I assume. If I ever decide to just stop doing this stuff, I just go back into service. Mostly because I, I hate dealing with people, but I'm good at it. Oh no, I worked I worked retail for eight years. I never got punched once. Never got punched, not even once in eight years of retail. So I am not worried about going back into it if I ever have to. I'm realistic. Like I like doing online stuff, but you know how the, the ebb and flow of uh, the lifeblood of the internet is, right? If you, if you never like make it, make it, and make it like big uh you just kind of have to like deal with the consequences of real life and just go for it like i mean i'll go back to retail if i have to that's reality babe i don't want to and i'm gonna do everything in my power not to but like if i had to i have to brandon what's the most punchable person you've ever met me every time i look in the mirror i look at myself and i say you <laughs> They should have it mandatory to have retail employees learn Aikido to defend themselves against customer and power tripping executives. I don't know. I survived retail by just keeping my head down and doing my job. I'd get cranky some days, but like, I usually wouldn't let it affect me too much. The, my biggest problem with retail is working 40 hours a week and then coming home and, you know, trying to do all of this at the same time. So I was effectively working like 80 hour weeks uh, and like my job wasn't hard. It was the combination of working and trying to do like editing and, and video script writing and being online all the time to keep up with it. Now, I don't miss retail. The only thing I really miss about retail is retail is stability. Why does my computer tower sound like it's about to take off in its space? You either need to grease your fans or dust them out uh, or check your heat sink. Pro mo mo mostly, remember to dust out your computer regularly. And also, if your computer is making a loud sound, a lot of the time, you're either going to have to grease the bearings in your fan or just get new fans. Is it possible to just Twitch stream from my PS4? Yes, through the Twitch app, but you're better off getting a capture card and a PC if you want, like, any kind of community engagement. Unfortunately, the you can just stream from console, but the, the, the bar is pretty high when it comes to Twitch. I've had my laptop since October 2018. When's it going to die? A year and a half maximum. Six months minimum. Only advice you should trust me on is electronic advice. And even then, take it all with a grain of salt. Because remember who's telling you what's right and what's wrong in that degree, like area. The pee-pee-poo-poo -poo man. Brendan, AMD or Intel? Every computer nerd is going to say AMD. Every fucking nerd is going to say an AMD. But I, you shouldn't give a shit. Just get whatever you can get the best deal on. Every fucking nerd is going to say AMD, a AMD, AMD, AMD. You shouldn't really give a shit. Get whatever you can afford. Every, like, it's it's literally a fight. I have an Intel. I have an i9. The only reason I have an i9 is I got a really good deal on it. Otherwise, I would go AMD. That and I didn't want to switch out my motherboard, and it was the same chipset as my motherboard, so I was like, fuck it. Uh, every nerd is going to say AMD. Everyone that actually knows computers, get whatever you feel comfortable with. Intel or AMD. Either one's fine. It really just depends on how much you want to spend. Uh, honestly, get a Threadripper. At 479 cores. It's really important. You need 4,000 cores. Why have a computer run a server rack? I will say a lot of people do prefer AMD, like tech nerds do prefer AMD because Intel as a company kind of sucks. But honestly, not that big of a deal. 
If you want to go Intel, go Intel. If you want to go AMD, go AMD. It's your choice. Brendan should make a tech channel. No, because my my advice comes from years of electronics retail and working on my own computer. I am bunk and dumb as hell when it comes to like actual like soldering and electronics. Brendan, do you have any recommendations for what I should use my Raspberry Pi 3 model B? Um, Raspberry Pi, you can do a Plex server. You get a hard drive hooked up to that fucker and then put like media on there, set it up on Wi-Fi, and then boom, you got a Plex server running. That's what I thought about getting a Raspberry Pi for. Really, I just wanted one so I could run a Plex server, but I can literally run a Plex server from my uh, NVIDIA Shield. Bug! God, I died to bug last time. I don't want to die to bug this time. Oh God, why? Why is the world sending so many bug at me? This is the will of the world, Brendan. You're gonna be, oh! You're gonna be like that, Brendan. One day you're gonna be like Jeff Goldblum the fly. I don't want to be Jeff Goldblum the fly. I don't. Please don't turn me into Jeff Goldblum the fly, please. It's already too late, Brendan. The transformation is already starting. Uh, wow, uh, wow, wonderful. Wow, great, awesome, epic. Wow, cool, awesome, wow. We put goggles on the boy. How he look? Oh, God, he's beautiful. I should stop calling him the bastard. I should start calling him your grace. I just ate a pepperoni and it tasted fucking rotten. Oh, I love pepperoni. Fuck, that's so sad. I'm so sorry you had a bad pepperoni experience. I fucking love pepperoni. I fucking love pepperoni. Oh, man. On like a flatbread pizza, you get like a pepperoni French bread pizza with pepperoni on it. Bake that shit in the toaster oven. Fucking eat it in three quick bites. Lose your fucking mind. Rip your clothes off. Go out into the dead of night. Start fucking screaming. That's a good night. Thing is, is there are some people I've... I've I've had experiences in the past where people are like, you don't need to refrigerate pepperoni. You just buy pepperoni. It's a quick snack. Here's the fucking... You should refrigerate pepperoni. Please refrigerate your fucking pepperoni. I'm saying it. You're hearing it. I'm saying it. Refrigerate your fucking pepperoni. If you ain't heard it from me, you're going to hear it from somebody else. Refrigerate any and all meats. Except for, like, Slim Jims, because, you know, you like it when they're a little bit goopy. Now, I'm talking, now, if we're talking, like, Slim Jims, don't fridge your Slim Jims, then you're a freak. Fridging your Slim Jims makes you a freak. That shit should be room temperature at all time. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.